All right, Adam, thank you. A Duluth firefighter critically injured after a hit and run last month was honored by the mayor, firefighters, first responders, and his military colleagues with, with 148th today. They all lined the tarmac as he was flown to Colorado to continue his treatment. Northern News Now's Michaela Wrench was there and brings us the heroic send-off. A show of support for Duluth firefighter Ray Skoglin recovering from a recent hit and run. What we had an opportunity to do here was great for us and for the family. So it, it, it meant a lot and I think we're proud of our members. I think I'm proud of the fire department. I'm proud of our, all of our partner agencies. The Monaco Air Terminal at the Duluth Airport filled with all of Ray's friends and family members. There's firefighters up here. There's family. There's friends. There's guard members. Um, there's just police, uh, Mayo Ambulance, we, we've got so much support from so many other agencies. Craig Hospital in Denver, Colorado specializes in neural rehabilitation and will provide the treatment Ray needs for the quickest and easiest recovery. It's like there is no place better than Craig. Um, like this is the place that people do miraculous things. So it's so exciting for him to be making that transition. So important for his recovery to be making that transition. Duluth's fire chief says the transition wouldn't have been possible without the help of Essentia. Um, literally from that first night to, to this morning, they've been taking care of Ray. Um, they saved his life. Essentia, along with multiple members of the community, will continue to follow Ray through this recovery. All, almost 900 employees have been following along. We'll be doing another update from our office today, just letting folks know where Ray is at, what this means in terms of his recovery process. Ray won't be alone on his road to recovery, but his friends and family can't wait until he's back. Uh, we can't wait to get him back uh, at headquarters, and you know we're excited. Uh, for, for his future here in the short term and in the long term. In Duluth, Michaela Wrench, Northern News Now. Michaela, thank you. Now, doctors say Scoglin has been showing small improvements over the past two weeks. His time at the Denver rehab facility is yet to be determined. Meantime, the man who police say struck Scoglin, 88-year-old Ronald Murdahl of Duluth, has been charged with criminal vehicular operations.